Marley was as dead as a Excellent. Gerald Dickens has been performing his own version of A Christmas Carol across America since 1993. You will be visited by three spirits. He plays all the characters and has a distinctive voice for each of them. I am the ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> Tonight, he's in the aptly named town of Bethlehem in Pennsylvania. It's a place that comes alive and alight every December. For many Americans, a traditional Christmas is an English, a Victorian, and above all, a Dickensian one. And yourself a merry, merry And that explains this, a faithful recreation of a Victorian street scene inspired by Charles Dickens, not in England, but in Pennsylvania in America, at a place where Christmas is celebrated all year round. The figurines made here all have a Victorian theme and have become an American institution. So this place provides Gerald with the biggest audiences of his tour. A Christmas Carol is always a beginning of a Christmas for me. Christmas Carol has been around a long time for me, and, and I, we used to use that for our children, read it to them. It's a phenomenon. It is massive. Every city or town you visit, there will be a performance of a Christmas Carol somewhere. It harks back to an era when America was developing and becoming a strong, strong country. There's a great attachment to the Victorian era. Charles Dickens himself knew this part of America well. He came here in 1868 to stage sellout readings of A Christmas Carol. Pat Vincy is a member of the Philadelphia Dickens Fellowship and remembers the moment she first came across him. I saw A Christmas Carol when I was 12. It was on a 16 millimeter in the school hall and I was enthralled. And they put a picture of Dickens up on the screen after the movie and I was 12 years old, I ran up to the nun screaming, who was he and when did he live? It's Christmas Day. What? The influence of Dickens is so huge that it has an impact on how Americans see us and our Christmas traditions. Everybody has their Christmas tree and their figgy pudding and they're all around together and just happy to be yeah. with each other. Oh, I think even top hats and everything. I think all of that. People would be stunned if it didn't look like that. Here, hold up. I know it may not be exactly like you'd see on this street scene, but it's what uh, we all dream England's like and uh, it, it makes us feel good. Next year's celebrations to mark the bicentenary of the birth of Charles Dickens in Portsmouth and his life in Kent will be as big in America as they'll be in England. We'll have more on Dickens at 200 in the new year. For now, here's his great-great-grandson with a festive farewell. As Tiny Tim observed, God bless us, every one. Have a very Merry Christmas. Richard Jones in Pennsylvania for Meridian tonight.